at wide receiver. And with him, any catch could be a big one. He's the NFL leader in touchdown receptions. It's the Eagles and the Cowboys, and it's coming up next. Just north of the Delaware Expressway and east of Broad Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South Philly. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Time for Dak Prescott and the Dallas offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. And you and I both know that any win is a good win, and that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an interception. Pick. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. Evades the tackler and now some space. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. The numbers for him from a week ago. 21 carries, 94 yards, and a score. And when he went over 1,000 yards last week, you know what it did for their offense? It gave them a true identity because everyone's going to talk about this. The offensive line's going to take pride in it. Of course, the guy carrying the football will. But how about the coaching staff? When they go in and talk contracts, when they talk to reporters, hey, we had a 1,000-yard rusher this year. That means something in today's NFL. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Here's Prescott. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, the pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get after the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. But also, when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in and mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. Now, now comes the Cowboys punter. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Fielded at the 33. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They're led out by the former Michigan State QB, a starter here in his rookie campaign. And he comes to the end of the season leading the NFL in passing yards. And that's not necessarily something you set out to do at the beginning of the year, but it's a good illustration of how remarkable and consistent he's been all season. Well, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. Picked by Jeff Okuda. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Well, it's not the first time we've seen him give one up here during his rookie season. And in this case, zone coverage forced the mistake. He's made some strides week to week, and how he's handling the different type of coverages that he's seeing. But clearly, there's some growing still to do. straight ahead to Warren and he'll take this ahead for about four second down coming up well this defense for the Eagles they were very good last week in the win over New Orleans no matter what coverage was called they were right in the hip pockets of the receivers all game long step for step running their routes with them turned out they were right there every time the ball was in the air and they came away with five interceptions in that one give him four on the carry and it'll make this a third and about two from the shotgun, it's Prescott. 
And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. So on fourth down, Prescott off and on his Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. On the left hash mark, this a 38-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And the Eagles offense and their quarterback coming out for their second drive. And he's putting together a remarkable season, currently the NFL's leader in passing yards as we play here in the month of December. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Their second drive here, the ball game, Charles. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up. It bent a little, but didn't break, only giving up the three points. Yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out, but boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn now, back out on the field, put together a good drive, and get some points of their own. Yeah, this is going to be an Eagles first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. The Eagles sit 13-1 and one now on the year. And they've been flawless these last couple months. Winners of nine in a row. And let's give them a ton of credit because in a league that's built on any given Sunday, any team can win. To run off this kind of a streak, this kind of a number, that's pretty darn impressive. Second and nine. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Osa Odegizua with the effort there to earn the sack. A tough spot here. Third and 15. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Throw on the right side complete to Harrison. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line, well short of the first. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll be fourth down. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. The Cowboys offense and Dak Prescott getting ready to go once more. And he's in the midst of a very solid season, currently second in the NFL in passing yards. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Just need a yard here, second and one. They toss it to Warren. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Prescott down. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. The second in the NFL in interceptions, and you understand why. He plays the game of great intelligence, understands positioning, and has a great ability to break on the football when it's in the air. So fun to watch his closing speed and another example of it on that play. Gets past one man. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. The Eagles offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he's played well all year long as he enters the home stretch of the season as the NFL leader in touchdown passes. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, <laughs> two drives with turnovers. Now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Back to throw here. 
He finds his man complete. It's Harrison. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 37. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. You know, whistles and a stoppage here. Looks like one of the Eagles is in some discomfort out there. But not what you want to see this late in the season. Medical staff is going to check on him, and we'll step aside for a moment. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. His throw incomplete. These two teams getting a couple of late season tilts this year. Their first meeting was not too long ago, back in week 12. And it was the Eagles who got the win on the road, so now they look to finish off the sweep here in Philly. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia and it's the Eagles in possession. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far. Finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's see if they can do better here on this drive. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, that's a perfect example of how he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week from last week's game. He is just all around the football right now, isn't he? That he is, and it's funny because I talked with the coaching staff about drills that they do in practice, and one of them is called matching hands. And as soon as that hand is launched by the quarterback, you throw up the opposite hand. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them, bringing up fourth down. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fielded just inside the 20. A 46-yard punt, 8 yards on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones 
not have the balls go through goalposts. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 50 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. They'll look to throw now on first down. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. Pass the 20. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A great play there with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he returns this to the 22. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Just a lone field goal for him so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. Prescott to throw it. Throw is caught by Schoonmaker. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Prescott. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. The Cowboys on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and six. Now Prescott. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be second down. Prescott off play action. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 45-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Throwing, Prescott. Throw complete right side to Cooks. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. On the give, it's Warren. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Play action now, Prescott. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. So on fourth down, Prescott off and on his Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and that'll bring him back within four. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. 
They're starting to pull away with this one. Early on that first quarter, they didn't look so great offensively. What has changed? Sometimes it's just a matter of doing what you plan to do better. Sometimes you just put that all together and you execute. Other times it's just in a simple adjustment in your game plan, finding a spot that maybe was a little weaker than maybe you thought, and going to that. So many different things, so many different ways, but right now, you gotta like what they're doing. They have put distance between themselves and their opponent. Looking to add on here in the second quarter. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They're going to look to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. To the 40 and no further. The broken tackle, but then the hole closed quickly. They work now on second and nine. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Here's third and three. They'll look to throw again. Here's a diving catch right side. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time, they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down, and then some. Back to throw again. It's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, they have that one snipped out defensively. That's a tough one to connect on when you've got multiple defenders in the area and it winds up incomplete. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's got Brown on the out route complete. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Out of the gun now on third down. Touchdown, Philadelphia! A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Eagles would extend their lead here just before halftime. And that touchdown grab has officially solidified his historic season as record-breaking. He now has the new NFL standard for the most receiving touchdowns in a single season. Congratulations. Elliott good on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And the Cowboys gonna go on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. Now Prescott. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. A handoff for Warren. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Final play of the half, Prescott. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. They'll throw now final play. Now he'll take a shot for Peoples-Jones. And incomplete on the deep ball. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you two in a bit for now. 
plenty of early game action around the NFL to get you caught up on, so let's get to it. We'll begin things with an NFC matchup in our nation's capital. Detroit taking on Washington, and it's the Lions who are out in front as they play the second quarter. Jared Goff has thrown a touchdown pass. From there, we head down to sunny Miami to check on the Dolphins at home at Hard Rock Stadium. And it's the visiting Jets who have the lead in that one. Garrett Wilson, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's get to Pittsburgh to check on the Steelers at home in Acrisure Stadium. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Justin Fields has thrown a touchdown pass. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's gonna be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that. And it's a fumble. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Rookie to rookie on the hookup there, and it's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I've got a good friend in football always talks about predictive history. He's got one of their two touchdowns. You can understand why they tried to find him again. Weren't able to connect, but the thought, that was good. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. He's got Harrison left side complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. Calling a gain of a yard, and that will bring up second down. He'll look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he is caught. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll try to run this one in. 
And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. You know, when this offense gets down here near the end zone, they're going to turn to their bell cow. And this guy's been a touchdown machine all year. Excellent job stopping him there. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A great play there. Touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Elliott Good with a PAT, and the lead is up to 18 now. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Cowboys offense and their running back, Jalen Warren, headed back onto the field. And he's had his fair share of troubles in this one, unfortunately. This defensive front has wreaked havoc throughout the contest, and he hasn't been able to create enough space to make something positive happen to this point. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They'll start this drive out on the ground. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. Second and six. They'll run it. Warren. They'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here's Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Take it in at the 22. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And they will take over first and 10. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We're always unfortunate to see an injury, especially this close to the end of the regular season. We'll step aside. Back to throw now on first down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Got him in. It's Brown. Some extra space following the display of power down just inside the 45. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. The offense on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. 
Here it's third and three. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 126 yards rushing for him now as his fine rookie season continues. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll go down at the 28. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now back to throw. That's going to be caught. Touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles extend their fourth quarter lead, and they are closing in now on a 14-win campaign. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QB is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. Elliott good on the extra point, and they open the lead up now to 25. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Cowboy offense heading out. Let's take a look at the playoff picture coming into the weekend in the NFC. Well, with three weeks left, they are in one of those three wildcard spots, Charles. But that spot is not clinched, and there's not a ton of breathing room for them. So the bottom line, they just need to focus on winning right now. Yeah, they totally have their eyes open, don't they? They know they've got teams trying to run them down. They can hear their footsteps. The question coaches ask guys in the locker room, do you have another gear left to pull away and lock in that playoff spot? If so, let's hit it. Prescott now. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Prescott. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Prescott to throw it. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. And again, it's Prescott. Got his man. It's Warren. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. But not what you want to see this late in the season. Medical staff is going to check on him, and we'll step aside for a moment. Prescott from the gun. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. On the run, it's Warren. And nothing doing here is this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Here's Warren. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time. Prescott on fours. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Touchdown, Cowboys! Donovan Peoples-Jones, 
23 yards for the touchdown. And the Cowboys are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D., and well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense. He made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground and down to the 44 five yards that time from the 44 yard line here's second and five at the 44 yard line and they'll give him another shot here on the ground and now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Third and five. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He has now hit number 500. Charles, that is his 500th NFL career catch. Definitely worthy of applause, but I remember when 500 meant you were going to the Hall of Fame. Nowadays, in today's football, 500 puts you on the path. A significant number. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And a short game down to about the 33. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Here's a handoff out of the gun. And room there to work it inside the 25. 146 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Brings up third down. So fly, Eagles, fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And to be frank, Charles, probably not too many people surprised at how this one turned out. Yeah, I don't think so at all. I mean, they're such a good football team. They were at home. You know, you walked in and you looked at the advantages and you saw that they had most of them. It'd take a lot to try and even it up. I just thought two words for this ball game: methodical and predictable. And both of them came together. So for Philadelphia, it's another win for them. And you wonder if they want to redo on that one loss as they sit now at 14-1. and one. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, it's a bad time of year to take a loss like this as they drop to 10-5. and five. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they travel to Denver to take on the Broncos. So for our entire...